Okay, so this time I'm going to show you my personal collection. Not many people probably care. I don't have many really outstanding cards. Um, a funny thing though is I've had this. This is uh, some cutouts from Beckett's with different photos and of all these cards I don't have that one and I don't have that one. I've got reprints of the two rookies. I've got that in the... Well, I've got that card. I've got that card. And I've got that card, which I never thought I'd get. It's a, I think it's a behind the glass upper deck. Anyway, I just thought that was funny that years ago I'd do a cutout of Jordan cards. Um, and now I've got most of them. So, start the personal collection with this series, which again I started collecting when I bought it. Bought a lot of um, Skybox Series 1. Um, this was the, ins the most common insert, like a one in nine packets deal, and because they had a lot of the, uh, you know, f f Hall of Famers, future Hall of Famers, and the, the dudes I knew and loved at the time, a uh, set of 12 cards, so 9, 10, 11, 12. Um, the best ones of the lot, obviously, were the Jordan Drexler, the Bird, and the uh, um, Shaquille O'Neal ones. There, I thought the other Shaquille O'Neal was the O'Neal vs. Morning. But those, I thought, were pretty cool cards, so endeavoured to get this whole set. Um... Never was able to watch many of Bird's games because, again, I didn't see many but NBA games before just recently on TV because I never had... It was just not big on Australian TV through that late 80s, early 90s. Um, but, yeah, just props. Collected any Bird cards that came my way. So I got some Bird collection up front. Um... And yeah, definitely not my favourite basketball player, but had to give props and have a collection in my personal collection. This page is a bird slash magic. And obviously then we move into the Magic Johnson cards. So I've got bird, <coughs> got the magic first bird, and then just a page of some some nice uh, Magic Johnson cards. I think I ordered that one way after the fact because it looks really nice. It's a weird die cut card. Um, and then obviously, just because I had nowhere else to put them, the few, some of the few, I mean, I've got another one over there, Kobe Bryant, but I believe I got this rookie off my friend, my buddy Damo, who probably pulled that in a packet in 96, 97, and that was kind of when I was stopped, stopped buying cards. I was just, I think, too busy <laughs> playing basketball in my backyard um, to, to buy more. Um, so anyway, I think these are the some of the earliest all-star cards I've got. So the 89 Johnson. Um, well, I guess speaking of early, I've got a pretty early Johnson card, but It'll probably be on the next page. Um, this was an uh, insert, probably a single card insert. Magic Moments, unnumbered card from the 92-93 series of Skybox. And I ended up trading that from a friend who used to live next door. Back in the day. Uh, these are from the Past and Present series. There's another kickback from Prism. A lot of these magic cards that are newer, like obviously kickbacks. And yeah, this would have been a magic card from the 93 94 series because it's got the white stripe. And that's how they rolled in 93 94. Um, that would be the oldest card. And I obviously got it cheap because it was way off center. No one's going to get that graded. But that's, I think, a 1980. Card. I haven't put my glasses on. Huh? 81. There's an 81 card. So I think out of my whole 
Oh, I can't, probably can't even say that. Um, the 81, that's a pretty early card. I don't have many cards that age. So yeah, these are the other two earliest Magic Johnson cards I've got. But as you can see, I like collecting Magic Johnson. Not many people do, but I still respect uh, and like watching his old games. Because um, he was Mr. Showtime after all. So I've got a few other cards. Um, the more higher end ones I would have just ordered online and paid for because um, they're not that expensive. Um, yep, just this is the page of like NBA All Star and USA team cards. Here's a quite off center preview from the FLIA boxes I would have bought. Um, at some point I bought a couple of these because Julius Irving's card was there. This was from the year where Magic, what was it, um, Magic Johnson and Larry Bird's rookie were on the same, you know, card because they were in these weird breakaway triple card things. Um, I'm not sure who the third person on his rookie card was, but that's the year, but I bought this, I guess, small set that somebody was selling basically because there was a Julius Irving and a few other of the classic players. Um, got a duplicate of, of the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar from that Panini past and present set. And here are just a few of the picks of duplicates from the upper deck boxes I broke. Um, so moving on to, I guess this is a general bulls uh, collection leading into the Michael Jordan. So I guess starting with the three, three of the hoops, different ear hoops. There's a Barcelona card that would have been from the original break. Uh, frequent Flyer Stadium Club, that's there because it's the Sam Vincent card with the Jordan wearing the number 12. I bought some of these upper deck March Madness college type cards and they obviously because of Michael, J Michael, Jackson, Michael Jordan's association with um, upper deck got a lot of his college photos printed up onto cards in that. I think that was released around 2010. Could be wrong. I've got the boxes there somewhere. Um, no, these are not the rookie cards. These are reprints of the rookie cards. These are the earliest Jordan cards I've got. I think that was 89. That one said 90. Uh, so that's an 89 and that's an 88 All-Star because I think the 88 card was is quite it's up there in price and this yeah because that's the 90 um, there's two Fleers from that break obviously you're going to get a couple of Jordans in a, in a box that looks like one I might have picked up before because it's in quite bad condition got a nicked corner and the side's been shredded. Um, again, Jordan from the Fleer box break. The rest I've either... I think I obtained that one pretty early on. I don't think I've got that in a pack. I might have got that in a trade. These are all the Skybox brand base cards. These are all the stadium club, top stadium club cards. These are the Fleer Ultra cards, 92, 93, not sure about the 90, I don't think there was a 95, 96, but there's the 96, 97.
this is just straight tops and then the tops embossed and I think the tops chrome no chrome whatever they were called Flat tops finest and then there's the arc tops archives Upper decks, plus the baseball rookie. Then starting with some of the inserts around some of the other duplicates from the upper deck box breaks, um, and of course another copy of the, the hoops. Jordan. These were all from the rare air set. Someone was selling them, so I was buying them through eBay. Um, so here's some. That's the behind, behind the glass. Why is, oh. Yeah, behind the glass insert. Glass number eleven. Um, up at a special edition with the 45. Um, I believe that, that card there I've had since I pulled that one from a upper deck. I think it was a special edition pack. I was lucky enough to pull that one, but these other Mr. June cards I've bought through eBay. I think that one I traded for, I think that one I bought, bought, I think, yeah, obviously pulled a few of the Michael Jordan, I think I've got three of those now, if I saw two on the other folder, that's the Stadium Club Beam Team that I pulled, I think I bought that online, bought that online, bought that online, I think I traded a friend for that. These, I think, one of them I bought online, the other one I might have pulled from the Upper Deck 91-92. This one, I think, is from 93 for the next year. This was part of the award winners. That's uh, Center Stage. I think I traded a few cards to get that one back in the day. The hardwood leader I traded for back in the day. Johnny Kilroy card, I had that a while ago and for some reason, reason traded it away and then I think recently I just saw someone selling one. I'm pretty sure I got that just through eBay. It's the Pro View. I think that's the end of all the decent inserts. Hang time. Yeah, I think that's a reprint from some other upper deck thing that they did for Jordan. And then we're into the subsets from the Fleer, plus the original Fleer. Subsets from the Skybox. Skybox subsets. Upper deck subset. More subsets, subset for the jam session, subset, Champ NBA finals, champions, hoops, cards, then again more subsets, Fleer, that's another one of those ones, the checklist from the upper deck pro views. I think had 3D pro views. We had to put the 3D glasses on. And from here it just gets more in, into more subset collection. I think it would have been one of these I originally pulled from a stadium club packet. And that's the end of the Jordans. So then into Scotty Pippen. So I've got the Jordan and the Pippen of this one. Jordan and the Pippin of that total D. 
the Jordan and Pippin of that. I've got a lot of series where I've got the Jordan, I've got the Pippin. And I've got Dennis Rodman. So... I do have a lot of this card because that came, that was fairly common and <laughs> duplicated many times in the stadium club breaks. And here we have a bit of an off center, so a lower value rookie that I bought. For, so I've got a Dennis Rodman rookie from 88. 88 Rodman rookie. Now I just surrounded it with the other Fleers, Skybox, um, Ultra, Skybox, and the top's finest. Then I got some of him in the Lakers and the Bulls. Some older cards again. Got that. Not sure if that was from that Fleer 92 break or if I bought it after the fact. I ordered that, ordered that. I don't think that's a real card if it's got I think that is the real card. I did have a version of that card that was like a demo with a perforation down the side. It came on a basketball magazine or something. Um, otherwise, just got more Rodmans who... Cards never really went up in value but obviously chased a lot. So here we got the Shaquille. So the Skybox Rookie, the Fleer Ultra Rookie, and the Fleer Rookie. I've got a Penny Hardaway Rookie and the Fleer Ultra Rookie. That's from the past and present break. These are just Skybox straight, or what do you call it, base cards. That's a triple thread insert. 7 of 10. Then I thought I bought some. I would have got that in, I think. That's tops. I think I bought that one. Just to get some of him in the heat jersey. That's an electric court images from, I think, the upper deck. Special edition, maybe? Oh, anyway, Lakers, more Lakers, Celtics, Celtics, Lakers. Um, more base cards, some subsets, like skylights. If I got room, which I don't think I do. I think I'm going to put this sheet in here. I'll sort it out a bit more later, but it's got another shack card. I see, I don't think I've got any space for it. Oh, yeah, I could put him up in there. I think this would have, yeah, 2012, 2013, just before he went to Miami. I don't think that makes sense. Yeah. Anyway, I've got the card. It's going in here. So, after that, got the Barclays. Got a Barkley from 88, the Fleer Barkley, the Stadium Club Barkley, the Hoops Barkleys, another Stadium Club Barkley, Fleer Hoops, got a couple of inserts, base cards, they're all base cards except that's a subset. 
subsets and rather random. I think that's our MVP. TM1, TM21. More Barclay. And I think these are more inserts that I got in the past and present set. So I think that's a tread. I think these are tre called treads. So I got a Chris Paul, Damian Lillard, Carmelo Anthony. But those are those three are treads, and then headbands. That must it, it's a fluffy thing on top of the card that feels fluffy like a headband. But yeah, that's my personal collection. I do have another folder that expands to other um, Hall of Famers that I also just have a personal collection of, which I'll just quickly flick through now. So this would be personal collection part two. Again, for the depths that I got into. Oh yeah, by the way, these are real cards. Um, <laughs> at the time I just thought, oh yeah, whatever. But I would never do this to a card these days. It's, um, as, as much as they're either common or base, you know, whatever, I just wouldn't do this to cards again. I was young and naive. Give me a break. So here's Sean Kemp's. I've got the 92-93 Boom Beam Team. And... That's the majority of my Kemp's. I've got some Wilkins and Drexler down there. Got more Wilkins here. So is it the awesome... His cards were always awesome when he was dunking. Uh, Wilkins in the Celtics. Clippers, Hakeem Olajuwon, um, I got three of these from the upper deck break, they're those hollow, holographic, it's the best light to get them on. They were pretty cool holographic inserts for award winners. You got block shots. More Akeem. Drexler. Got the Beck Drexler beam team. I thought it was pretty cool when he went to Houston. Career highlights, which is an insert. Insert. Joe Dumas. Tim Hardaway. Rookie. I think that's a rookie. No. If it was 90. I think it's a rookie if it's a 90. Um... Larry Johnson rookies. More Larry Johnson from the uh Aye. Um that's a reprint weird thing that Hoops did, it's not the actual rookie card. That's one of those extra skybox inserts. And this was the additional insert series that came with Skybox 92-93 so R for Robinson 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 I think that's a complete set I think series 1 had 5 and then series 2 might have had the other 5 I don't know, it's all about his personal life uh, my page of 
dead guys. Bill Lambie is not dead. So Reggie Lewis and Trazen Petrovic as the mark of respect. Muggsy Bogues. Glenn Rice. Now I got Grant Hill two rookies. That's about it really. These are like subset hardwood leader, but I think it was just part of the set. That is a subset, so that's the other main card I've got that's yeah, base card and the rookie cards. Uh, Chris Webber, rookie, rookie. I think that's a rookie. I think they somehow consider that top prospect part of his rookie release. Joanne Howard. So I've got that refractor or special, whatever they call it. I don't know. There was a different version of the tops with the it had like a weird rainbow hologram in it. But yeah, of his rookie, that was pretty good. The whatever times two value or the times six value. More Weber and Juwan in the bullets. Glenn Robinson. I think that's his rookie. I think that's his rookie. That, yeah. Anyway. Where's Glenn Robinson today? I would like to know. Finn Baker. Isaiah Ryder. I should probably put that Isaiah Ryder. Uh, first day issue in here, but that's rookie, 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 and a Rodney Rogers rookie, and then some other randoms: uh, D Brown, D Brown, <laughs> Will Smith, Chairman, with the boys, and Will Smith card. Uh, Luke Longley front row college card and some Isaiah Thomas cards. And I think so there's part of the box of the FLIR. That's one of the packets from the FLIR break. Um, I think this is just recent kind of random thrown together cards like I bought some Star Wars cards and got this pretty cool looking Yoda. My brother got this from a Coca-Cola packet of cards and I think this Santa Claus was rare but probably no more than worth a dollar at the moment. Probably never went over two dollars worth. So I bought some Chronicles. Got a bunch of LeBrons here. I got some Luca Donchick cards, Kyrie Irving, John Wall, I think that's an insert so I picked that out, it's actually a subset by the look, Ben Simmons because he's from Australia, well, Russell Westbrook was in there with this prism, Ja Morant, so dude, Giannis, he'll be a, he's a future Hall of Famer I reckon. Kiri Irving. Um, got the rookie of that year, but I've never actually seen him play. Cade Cunningham. I uh, don't know why, but I'm kicking around with that extra Drexler card. Here's some additional Carmelones. I actually put together a Carmelone display for my friend who was into Carmelone, including his rookie that I threw in there. But that's a John Stockton 92 93 beam team card. I put the Carmelone beam team card from that series in this set that I gave to my friend. Then at the back here, we've just got some. I've started buying these classic 
were they called? No, they weren't classic. They were like John Williams or something college cards, and they weren't licensed. So wherever there's a photo of a like a bull, they take the Chicago Bulls and the they left the numbers on, but they took like the nicks off this dude and. I think that was the 70s, I think that's Will Fraser and jo Jojo White from the Celtics. They just took the branding off. And I th think there was nine of them to get and I only got four of them. And then just because they didn't fit in the main set, some worthy, James Worthy cards. Some AC Green, some Lakers. Uh, Kevin Garnett rookies some Durant cards probably the first Durant cards I ever got Michael Finlay Mashburn rookie and these are doubles or triples or whatever from the top stadium club sets and then there's some more and then at the back Patrick Ewing probably these two are the coolest I mean I think they're inserts I think that's an insert, it could just be the normal, whatever, base card. But those are the, like, latest, I guess, as in, later in his career. But that's it, like, you know, I respect Ewing, but it's not at the front of my collection. And there we go. That's perfect, I'll show you in here while I'm at it. It's more random cards. There we go. So that's all my sets that I have in folders. Um, I hope you got something out of looking at that. Um, skip the ones you didn't care to look at or just watch the ones that you did care to look at. So I hope you enjoyed that. Otherwise, um, yeah, I run out of steam at the moment I'm not going to go through the stacks of thousands of doubles and duplicates because you've basically seen the, the guts of what it is that I bought and all you're going to see in there is common cards and doubles and all of that but that's just what happens when you buy boxes of cards you get hundreds of duplicates sometimes nearly a second set which as you saw with the Stadium Club, and I think it happened with the Fleer as well. Um, end up nearly getting another whole set just from buying a box which has 12 cards times 36 if, if that's what's in a box. Uh, you do the math. So yeah, you get a lot of cards. So I'm looking to give away the rest of these cards. Uh, so for now, that's all I have. Hope you enjoyed. Till next time on some other video that I do about something else. Goodbye.